Are you ready? Ready. I'm kind of nervous. Come on out. Let's see what you got. Hi. It is the calm before the storm. If you didn't know, the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge is next week. It starts on Tuesday. Right, Lemonade? She's kind of mad because she's not on the caster crew this year. We love you. <laughs> um, no, but it's coming up and ooh, next week. And we've got people flying in from other states. We've got... I was um, doing a lot of production work this time around. And it's hard work to do production. I don't think I'd ever want to be a producer for real for real like as a job no um but it was a good learning experience for me having to put together a lot of moving parts and organize cast and crew and get everybody here and situated it was a lot but then I got help from the rest of the people on my team finally I because I was like literally crying at the end of one day because I just it was so much and then I was just honest with my team and I said, I need help. Some of these things I need help with to get accomplished. And they were so nice there. They said, just write an email and list all the things you need help with and we'll conquer them one by one. So I can say I've got an amazing team. Um, everybody's so kind, putting all their effort into it. And we're really excited. We're really excited. So more to come, more to come. Also, last week I went home to visit my mom. I stayed with her for almost a week and I saw my brothers and it was a great time. We always have a good time. My mom and I even got matching nightgowns. I do not have her picture, but I was wearing this nightgown that I got from Walmart and she said, that looks so pretty and comfortable. And I said, oh, I got it at Walmart. And so we went online and ordered her one and it came in three hours. It was like... It's very different than where I live. Where I live, stuff takes forever to get to us shipped. But where she is, it was like three hours and it was there. I couldn't believe it. But then we got to wear our nightgowns at the same time. And we meant to take a picture and we didn't. But believe me, it was it was really sweet. <laughs> um, Lemonade came with me on the trip and she traveled really well. Um, her eye doesn't seem to be affecting her. I was a little bit worried about in the crowd at the airport and all the suitcases rolling by her that, um, you know, not having her right eye was going to affect her, make her anxious. But she was, she was so solid. And she's my rock when we travel. She just keeps me focused. And like, when things get loud, I just reach down and pet her and look at her and pet her. And everything else just kind of melts away. So really happy, really happy with Lemmy, of course, and she's sweet adorableness. Sweet adorableness. Also, I um have a job that I got, and I'll be flying to Portland, Oregon. I've never been to Portland, and I'll be the well, where I'm giving the 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 speech is in Washington State, but we're flying into Portland, and it's at like a resort retreat area, and I'm going to be giving a talk and presentation and performance for the people and that is wow it's going to be so cool the place looks really really nice with like mountains and you know if you know anything about florida it's really flat so to go from flat florida to like mountains outside my window is really cool and i'm excited to do it and um it'll be another achievement and something i can put on my resume that i spoke and um because i one of my goals is to become a professional keynote speaker and songwriter for film television and ads yeah that's how it is and guess what i'm so excited about making films and things like that, that I got a new dress. If you know me, I'm not much of a dress person, but I saw this dress and it just spoke to me. I said, Jen, what if you go to the red carpet? What are you gonna wear? You can't wear the same dress you wear all the time. You need a different dress. And oh boy, I'm nervous about how it looks, but I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Okay, cut. Are you ready? Ready. I'm kinda nervous. Come on out. Let's see what you got. 
Oh, girl, look at you. And the Academy Award goes to... Jen. Lemonade! <laughs> you feel like um, a winner in that dress? I feel like a winner in this dress. Turn I around. Like, I feel like if I win an award or go to an award ceremony, I would like to wear this dress. And it's actually really comfortable. It's a keeper. Yay. Lemonade, you gotta stay here because there's snakies out there, but we'll take you for your own walk later. I promise. Stay. Good girl. We'll be right back. Poor Lemmy. She hasn't really been able to roam the garden because there's been a bunch of snake sightings. One of them, one of the guys caught and moved to a different location, but there's another one prowling around. It's not poisonous, we don't think. It's a regular black snake, but still. These snakes are bold. They will roll, like, right over your foot, so. They're rolling, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. There's some good news and bad news. The jasmine is doing beautifully. It's getting flower buds. Yeah, cat focus. See the buds? The buds? Yeah. Okay, um, the canna lily is re regrowing because that thing looked so dead and I just watered it and pulled some of the um, bad leaves off. This one, I don't think this one is a fan of the sun. I'm going to move it to the shade. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right now. Please don't be a snake. Please don't be a snake. Please don't. Why are you running, Amanda? <laughs> Ew, just a million bugs and ants. Okay. That's why. Okay. So brave. <laughs> oh, I'm like all in on nerves now. Oh, look. They were building under there. They have eggs and stuff. You see that? You see that? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, no flower. You rolling? Mm hmm. No flowers in this bed. We planted so many seeds. We've got nothing. Nothing. Um, and this one, we've got sprouts. And we'll water them tonight. Sprouts. Yeah, we have sprouts in there. Here, lemonade. I know, poor Lemmy. Avocado's doing great. Look at all this new growth. I can't wait for this. I know. We might get an avocado this year. Look at all this new growth. It's amazing. And my fig, I swear that grew like a whole foot this spring. It was like here and now it's up here. Super good. No flowers there. Oh, the pineapple's growing. Can we show them down, Amanda? Yes. Look how big it's getting. There's a spider. There's a spider? There's several spiders. Yay! It's a spider. You're doing a nature documentary now. I can't get the spiders to show up. Ah! Oh, right, don't okay. do that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> they flew at me. Banana is doing okay. I hear they need a lot of water, so I'm going to get them really well watered today. And my elm. Look how much it's grown. Look at all its leaves. Look at how many leaves. It was just a stick before. Look at that. So pretty. That's so, gonna be nice. That's the garden update. Stick with it, stick around, we'll keep you updated. I know I'm saying that and it's been three weeks. That's not lost on me. I'll do better. Amanda. Yeah? Oh. Have you heard? Try that again, I'm so weird. Amanda. Yeah? Have you heard? Heard what? You know. About your graphic novel? About my graphic novel! It's coming to fruition! Okay, I wrote the script. I finished the script like a year ago. And it's meant to be a feature film. And it's hard to get a feature film funded and made. And people, like, it's just a lot. So, a friend of mine who wrote a feature film script was turning theirs into a graphic novel. And I thought, Girl School will be an amazing graphic novel. Because... It just lends itself to a graphic novel. Agree? Oh, totally. She read, she read the script. You, I can't wait. 
I can't wait for it. Yeah. It, she's like a beta reader and she was like, I need more pages. I need more pages. So we're um I'm working on that. I finished the script. I hired my artist. They're amazing. They're twins. And they found me through my, my post where I was looking for artists. And they went above and beyond in all things um, to get the job. And I have just got my 100%. I've got, I've got confidence in them. They're, they've already done a test page, which I'll show you here. Look at that. It's so cool. I'm so excited. And, um, yes, yeah, so if you want to know more about it or be a part of the project, I'll put the link in the description. You can just follow along with it um, or share it. Anything helps to get this, this book made. But it's getting made. Like, it's getting made. So it's going to happen. Uh, I'm determined. So, um, yeah, it's called Girl School. It's kind of a cross between Girl Interrupted meets Lord of the Flies. The artwork is amazing. They did such an incredible job visually describing the characters. So they're working on five more pages of one of the most exciting scenes so that I can show that to people, including you guys. They'll be the first to show to you guys. And um, I'm just excited to have another book to be working on and to have it published. It's um, the, the tagline of the book is... Amelia, let's see if I got this memorized. Because what if like a million billionaire was like, I'm interested in your book. Tell me more about it. I got to be ready to go, right? Okay, here's my elevator pitch. The resulting chaos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amelia longs to escape the Westwood Behavioral School for Girls. When a snowstorm causes the staff to abandon their responsibilities, the resulting chaos means Amelia must choose between saving herself or her friends on the edge of my seat. Thank you guys. I'll be back with another video, hopefully sooner than three weeks. It is gonna be a couple busy weeks for me, but maybe I'll be able to, to I'm, when we do the, um, the film challenge, I'm really gonna try to get, we're gonna get a lot of extra footage, so I'll be able to kind of make, maybe make a thing with that and then do a voiceover so you can see the process. That would be really cool, so, but I'll get something out. I will, even though I have no internet, Oh, yeah. That's another story. Yep. It's like 1995 up in here. <laughs> the internet went out over a week ago, and the guy that's in charge of fixing it, I don't know where he is or what he's doing, I don't but... I think he works here. <laughs> yeah, I, I see him once in a while, but I don't know. So, I don't have internet, so in order to post this video, I'm going to have to bring my big computer, my desktop, up to the other building where somehow I have a Wi-Fi connection. I don't know how that happened, but thank you. And um, so I can post this video to you guys. That's just a side note. Me complaining, it's really not a big deal. Um, but um, so that's where I'm at. It's good though. I've been playing a lot of Skip Bo. Can we play Skip Bo today? Yeah. I love Skip Bo. And you know, like just kind of hanging out. It's kind of nice not having yeah. Wi-Fi for a little bit. Peaceful. Peaceful. And you go back to the old ways of entertaining yourself. Yeah. I remember being really bored as a kid. <laughs> Bringing back memories. Of yeah. <laughs> I literally remember sitting on the couch in the living room saying, this is the most boring day of my entire <laughs> life. I remember that moment. So that's what it's like. But it's okay. It's, it's good. Get back to nature. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. And I'm afraid it's the end because these monsters are chasing me. Trip on my laces. We ain't fast enough. Blaming you selfishly Reach out my hand just to push you away Why can't I stop making mistakes But